So to start with, we will take a sample flow here. So for that, let's go to floor plan level one, and then let's take a floor, floor architectural. And for my case, let's suppose I'm going to take a concrete commercial 362 millimeter. Select this, and then let's create a floor using rectangular option. So let's suppose the height or the dimension for this floor should be 10 meters in length and then 5 meters in width and then click finish. Let's hide the elevation points. So this is the floor we have. Let's go to 3D view to see it more properly. So if I go to realistic, you can see the concrete. Now, next what I want is I would like to modify this flow. Now, how can I modify? Just select the flow and then the moment you select the flow, you will see sub element option will pop up. Next, right now, let's suppose you want to modify the flow in such a way that, that these two edges on the right side should be act as a slope. So let me go to the south view and explain you. So what I want is in this case, the floor should not be straight. It should be sloped in this manner. So how we can do that? Let's go to 3D view again. Select the flow and then click on modify sub element option. Now the moment you click on sub modify sub element option, you can see this floor has been created using by default by four points. So one, two, three and four in each corner. Now to create a slope, what I want to do is I would like to set the height of this floor to down. So select the point and then let's suppose I would like to take it minus 200 down and then enter. In similar way I can select the second point and give the elevation as minus 200 and then enter. Now if you notice the floor is created as a slope. To see it in a proper way what we can do is we can go to elevation and then south elevation and then you can see the floor is now sloped. Now in case you would like to come back and reset the slope value or you want to uh, undo the modify option then simply what you can do is you just select the floor and then click on reset shape. So all, all the modification which is applied to it will be removed. Next we will see let's suppose how you can create a slope or how you can modify this floor in such a way that there is a slope in between and all the edges are converging to that particular point. Now to do that, what we can do is we select the floor again and then let's select add split line option. Click on add split line and then select one edge. Okay, let me do it again. So add split line. So we take one point and then let's take the second point. Similar way we take one point from the other direction and we create it here. So now you will see that there is one point added in between. Next, we want to modify this element. So select modify sub element and click on this point and give the value as minus 200. Now you will notice there is a slope created in between. And if you see from the front view, you can see the slope coming like this. So this kind of slope can be used in the shower area of the washroom. Now let's go and see the realistic view. So you will see it in a more proper way. There is a slight slope is added to this flow. Okay, let's switch back to our previous shape. Next, let's suppose in case you would like to add a slope anywhere in any corner, not in the center. So what we can do is simply you select and then select add point option and then click it anywhere. Let's suppose somewhere here. And then I would like to add a, let's modify this and click on this point. And let's suppose there is a small depression of minus 100 mm. So you will notice that there is a slope created at this particular location. So you can add your drain area. So this is how you can modify flooring using the sub option. Thank you.